Pumped. Interior. Daryl's car. Day. Daryl. 40s. Aging punk rocker. Converses on Bluetooth while he drives and fiddles with his ill-fitted dress shirt. Where are you? The judge said this time we go ahead with or without you. Daryl sighs and turns on the signal. Daryl, I'm starting to doubt your commitment to these proceedings. Daryl looks wistfully at his gold wedding band. Exterior, courthouse, day. Renee, 40s. Ivanka Trump without her billions. Idols in line for the parking lot. She closes her eyes and listens as a guided meditation fills the interior of her car. You are safe, New York Coon. I am safe. It holds you in its waxy grip. You are a tiny insect larva. I am a tiny insect. Horn honks behind Renee. She abruptly comes back to earth and lurches forward to the parking gate. She ineffectually fights with the card reader and then presses the yellow button for assistance. This is Anita from Park IT. What is your issue, ma'am? This asshole thing won't take my card. Ma'am, you're going to have to correct your language, then back up your car and come on over to the parking office. The driver behind Renee honks persistently. Renee thrusts her middle finger through the sunroof. Screw you, dickwad. Excuse me, honey? In the rearview mirror, Renee sees Daryl is driving the car behind her. He smiles widely and gives her the sign of the horn with his hands. He sticks his tongue through his fingers like Gene Simmons. Anita, listen, Anita. Oh, I'm listening, sister. I'm going to have to ask you to do me a solid here. My divorce hearing started five minutes ago, and you know who's in the car behind me laying on the horn? My soon-to-be ex-husband. Whoa, girl. I know, right? What are the chances? And Anita, this is bloody typical of his behavior. Renee is interrupted as the meditation recording kicks it into high gear with some loud, drawn-out ums. Girl, you all right in there? No, I'm not all right. Nothing is all right, Anita. Daryl beeps repeatedly on the horn. Don't make me get out of this car. The parking gate opens. Exterior, courthouse, parking lot, day. The lot is full. Renee makes an unsuccessful attempt to back into a tight space. Daryl pulls up, and the two yell through their open windows. Want me to park it for you, babe? Want to piss off and die, Daryl? You are like a little silky baby. Hey, babe. What? Could you hook me up with the deets on your relaxation program? Seems to be working super for you. Renee fumes and pulls forward. A call on her cell interrupts her next attempt to park. Interior. Renee's car. Day. I'm proceeding at a divorce hearing without a client. Stop riding me, Brett. Are you wearing the suit? We cannot have the Courtney Love look today, okay, Renee? Tell me you look halfway presentable. Renee looks in her rearview mirror to see Daryl whip into her space. Ugh, asshole. I beg your pardon? Exterior. Parking lot. Day. Another car leaves a nearby spot. Renee drops the phone and pounces on it. Once parked, she grips the steering wheel and seats. She reaches over, turns up the recording, and closes her eyes. She does not notice Daryl approaching her car and creep into the passenger seat. Mother Nature rocks you in your cocoon, back and forth in her rocking chair. Interior. Renee's car. Day. Daryl whips the passenger seat back and forth while performing a movement halfway between a seizure and a sexual intercourse. Renee bolts forward and smashes off the volume. Daryl grins. Back and forth in the chair, like a tiny bullet with butterfly wings. Why do you always have to be such a dick? Just playing with you, babe. Stop calling me babe like we're still backstage at the sanctuary. It's like your life's work to bug the crap out of me. I used to think it was. Daryl's eyes mist over and he stares longingly at Renee. I've never known how else to get your attention, babe. They stare at each other for a long moment. You look like a loser in that shirt. Daryl holds Renee's gaze as he unbuttons his dress shirt. Underneath, it is a black tee depicting Johnny Rotten in all of his punkish glory. Renee consumes Daryl with her eyes and throws off her suit jacket. As she disappears on top of him, her Sex Pistols concert tee, worn backwards, is revealed.
exterior, parking lot, later. Renee and Daryl, heavily disheveled from their recent compilation, approach the parking gate in Renee's car. Renee rolls down the window and presses the yellow button. Uh-huh. Hey, Anita, can you let me out? Honey, you know we got cameras in the parking lot, right? Daryl and Renee exchange a look. So here's what I'm going to need you to do. See that little bubble right next to the yellow button? That's me. I'm going to need you to take your fist and give me some odd dad brown, sister. Renee smiles and fist pumps newly revealed camera. Oh yeah. The parking gate opens. As they roll out of the parking lot, Renee and Daryl pass two irate lawyers who look in the car, recognize their clients, and give chase. A hard rocking punk song screams from the car as Daryl and Renee peel off into the sunset, their middle fingers raised in unison through the sunroof.